Now what we will do first is we will add a category controller. So we can right click on the controllers, add a new controller. It will be the MVC controller empty and we'll call this category controller.cs. The naming convention needs that the controller is present at the end here. So we will follow that. Within our controller, when we will be passing data to our view, we need the DB context. So how will we extract that DB context? In order to do that, we'll do that using dependency injection. So let's have a local variable for our DB context, which is application DB context underscore DB. And using constructor, we can get that with dependency injection. So right here, we'll get the application db context db and we'll say underscore db is equal to db. We can use this underscore db to access our models and use entity framework to retrieve, save and perform all the operations that you can think of. Now in our index, we want to display all the categories. So how do we retrieve all of the categories? We will be using the db context. So right here, we will retrieve list of category and we'll call this obj list is equal to, as I said, we'll be using underscore db. If you hit dot here, you will see there will be all the models if you scroll down. Right here, we have all the models that we added inside our application db context. I will be using categories for now. And once we do that, it will retrieve all the categories for you. But you can see we have to do a conversion here to list since we are storing it in a list and not an enumerable. So this is all you have to write to retrieve all of the categories from the database and store it in a list. You can see how simplified it is. Once you get that in the list here, we'll pass that to the view and we can display that. Let's do that. So now next thing we have to do is we have to add the view so we can right click on index and add the view. It will be the razor view empty. Let's add this and we'll keep the same name. As, we'll keep the name as index razor view empty. Let's add this. For the view code, rather than typing everything, I have provided the snippets so that we can not focus on the ASP.NET Core aspect and rather focus on entity framework. So if you go to the assets here, you can find all of the resources on brugain.com by navigating to project and there you can download all the resources. So in section 5, the first thing we have is category index view. Let's open this up. And in here, let me copy this, close this and paste it right here. This looks good. We are expecting a model of a list or an enumerable of category and that is what we are passing from here. Let me save this and we'll make one last change that is inside views. We have shared view. We have the master page here. Let's add the link for all the pages here. We will not have too many of them but let me do the changes. We don't want the home. So rather than home, let's change this to category controller and index action. Let's call this category. What I will do is I'll copy this and paste this three more times. We'll remove the last one for privacy. Next here, I'll add the publisher. I'll add the author and I will add the book itself. We'll change the display here. Perfect. Let's run our application and take a look at category. If we go to category, right here we see an error and I think the view was misplaced. Let's take a look. Well, the view got added in controller and I think this is because right now they are messing things around with how scaffolding works when you add a new view. So we need to create a new folder here or rather let me do one thing. We'll go to the controller, right click, add view. I think since it's in preview right now, we have these two options, but let's go with the razor view here. Once you do that, let's add this 
This should create a new folder in the views and then it should add the index in there. Let's take a look. Yep, that's what it did. We'll remove this index and we will move the index that we have in category. That should do the trick. Let's run this. Let's go to category and we should see list of categories. Great. We see category 1, category 2 and 3. Right now edit or delete will not be working. If you do, doesn't work. Here we have add 2, add 5, remove 2, remove 5. Do not worry about that right now. For now in this video what we learned is how to retrieve all of the categories using Entity Framework Core. We are just adding a sugar coating here for the view stuff but I won't go into the details of .NET Core in that aspect. The main thing to focus is when you have to retrieve anything, you retrieve that using dbcontext.theClassName and if you want to convert to the list, you can use .doList. That will automatically run the query across the database. Now that being said, what was the query that was actually executed? We can see that because we added logging. If we go to Windows and we go to Output, let me select the Wizlib ASP.NET Core web server. Right here, you see the query that was executed across the database. So you can see how smart EF Core is. Based on the short syntax here too, it automatically calculates the query and retrieves all of the category. We will be using this output window very often for the next two sections. So keep it handy and let's continue with this in the next video.